what's in my wantable ColourPop edit? Well, if you want to see, stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. Band is hanging out with me and Chloe's at home. But if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for checking us out. And if you're returning, thank you so much for being a part of our YouTube family. So I did go ahead and get the Wantable Color Pop at Style Edit because, I mean, that's my thing. I love color. So I thought, let's see what they do. Now, Wantable is a stylist subscription service and you get up to seven items. You can get it as often as you like or as infrequently. They've had, they have a lot of different types of edits. They first of all have three standard, a style, an active, and then a sleep wear, which would also be undergarments. Within those, there are all kinds of themes. So you can get it all the time. You can get it once a quarter, you can pause it, indefinitely until you feel like your wardrobe needs a little something new, whatever you like to do. This just, you know, like a pop of color. So I wanted to give this one a try. I do have a code down below if you do want to give this, a tr this service a try. It gets you $25 off your first order and it does give me $25 off of my next order. So if it's something you're interested, you've always wanted to try, there's a code for you right down below if you want to use it. All right, let's get into this box. It's a big box. It's not usually so big. Oh, okay, I see why. I see why. Okay, I'm seeing some great pops. Look at that orange, that pink. That's real pretty too. Oh, that's like a yellowy color. I see some green in there. So my stylist is Jordan. You get a note from your stylist. You also get all of your prices. It also tells you if you this was something you requested on the stream, you can go ahead and request things. You may or may not get them. Everything except for one item was a requested item on the stream. And prices overall aren't looking bad. Here is an envelope to send back anything that you don't want to keep. It tells you that there is a gift in here and that is this bracelet. So these were a $20 or $21 value, and they are these pretty little glass bead bracelets. There was a variety of ones. That's real pretty, though. Like that. Put it on with my watch here. There we go. Okay, it looks like I got another piece of jewelry. And these I did request. These are by Ink and Alloy. And I had actually seen this in their, one of their ads and I was like, those are gorgeous. Colors in there. I try these on because if these are not too heavy, these bad boys are staying with me. These are a little on the pricey side for costume jewelry. I will say that they are $44. But I did know that when I requested them and just am loving them. They're not very heavy. Now I can't wear these to work. I do work in a human service field and these would be not a acceptable. I mean, I am a therapist and I can wear this in my private practice, but um, not my regular job. Okay, look at this. Now, this I saw on the stream and I was like, oh, it's a little expensive, but look at that's like a, like a bubblegum Barbie pink. And I am not opposed.
opposed to pink. I know some people are like, mm, I don't like pink. I like pink. I like all the colors of the rainbow, but particularly the colors of the rainbow that are bright. So you could hold it like that. It's not particularly huge. You could crossbody it. All right, here is the inside. There is one pocket here. And then there are snaps to close it. All right, so there we go, that's cute. And this is by Every Hour. All right, this is a dress by Dex, and I think this is meant to be worn off the shoulder. I recall seeing it and saying, that looks really pretty. I wonder how that would look on. So they did send it to me. And this is in a size large. And y'all gonna see I'm wearing Crocs because it's a Sunday when I'm filming this, even though I'm gonna upload it on a Wednesday. It's a nice length though. I do have on my Nightmare Before Christmas glow in the dark Crocs because that's fancy. All right, W by Wantable is this kind of uh, mustard yellow blousey material. It's got um, like yellow on yellow print there, as you can see. This is by Skies Are Blue. Look at that. Ooh. This is by Thread and Supply, and it's a cute little jacket. And by Vigos, my favorite jean company, we have some cargo pants, and I love cargo pants. So, super excited. Oh, these have such a nice stretch. All right, we're going to try some stuff on, see how things look make some decisions. It's really tough because other than the yellow shirt, I love everything in this box, but I may not love it on. You know, I did request everything except for the yellow top. And so maybe on, I may not like it. Who knows? I may like the yellow top and hate the other stuff on. Who knows? All right. I will see you right back with my first outfit. Okay, I am back with the dress. I figured I would try that on first. I love the colors and the print. I'm not sure how I'm liking it on, like if it doesn't maybe um, not suit me, which would be too bad because it is on sale. This is by Dex. It is the Scoop Back Tiered Midi Dress in Navy Garden, size large on sale for $45. It looks like it was, it was $90. So it is half off. But I do like the print. I don't know, let me know, what do you guys think? Now I do believe it is supposed to be off the shoulder. On the shoulder, here's how it looks. So I feel like, I don't know. I feel like in the picture, the gal had it off of her shoulders, but I could be wrong. Could be worn either way, perhaps, but I like the print, I like the colors. I'm just not sure about the fit. So when I watch it later on, That will help me decide what I think. Okay, on to the next outfit. So I tried on the orange Skies Are Blue tank top. 
I do like it. I love the color. I tried it on with these cargo pants. And I went ahead and tucked it in a little bit because I like that kind of front tie detail. It's got some nice pockets here, nice and deep too. And it has the side cargo pockets. The pants are very comfortable and I love this orange. Oh my goodness. So this is the double strap sleeveless woven top in neon. I wouldn't call this woven. It's actually more of like a silky type material. It's by Skies Are Blue and it is $54. It's a little pricey, but very much like it. And the pants are the Mid-Rise Slim Cargo Pant in Olive by Vygos 78. And that's about on par with some Vygos pants. Now I brought this jacket to kind of complete the look. And we'll throw in a bag too. The jacket is the utility jacket in rich tan. This, I always ask for the jackets a little bit larger, so this is in an extra large. Probably could have done a large, but I do like the extra room because with the sleeveless, yeah, it's fine, but if I had something else, maybe not. This is by Thread and Supply, it's 72. And then the pocketbook is the shoulder bag in bubblegum by, well, this is by Jan. Genu, $52 on the tag. It says every hour. Yeah, and it says that there's a website that says everyhour.com, so I'm not really sure, but I do love that. I feel like I'm ready to go out, you know, maybe like to the seaport or the aquarium or something like that. And I do think this is a nice contrast with each other. And of course I have that multicolor bag that I kept from another fit that would probably go better. Let me go, let me go grab that. There we go. So I do like that outfit. I mean, that could definitely be worn to work as long as I only take off the jacket in my office. Of course, it seems those cute earrings. I have one more top to try on, so I'm gonna try that on. We'll see how it looks, and um, when I make my decisions, as I go through, I'll let you know what I kept and what I sent back. Okay, I am back with that last top and it fits very nicely. It's like kind of nice and loose, a little bit flowy. This is the woven v-neck short sleeve top in mustard floral. So there is that little yellow and yellow print. W by Wantable, $52. know that it's going to go great with this jacket. It may be too much yellow on yellow. I think that's a little too much yellow on yellow. I'm going to do have other color jackets if I decided to keep it. It is a little see-through. Definitely need a tank top underneath. I had, um, when I went to try things on, I had grabbed an actual strapless bra. So it's kind of dark, so you can kind of see that through here. So definitely would need a tank top underneath of it, but it's not bad, I kind of like it. So we can add in the purse with that. And that definitely adds a nice pop of color to that. 
but overall, I think this was a great box. I think Jordan did an amazing job curating this for me and picking things that could mix and match and that she thought I would really enjoy. She did a great job, even though almost everything was from uh, my choice items. Like, I don't mind that. Sometimes I get things that I put in my stream and I try them on and I don't necessarily think I look as good in them as, you know, I mean, obviously the model looks great in it, but it doesn't mean I'm going to totally different body type, but I kind of like try to envision myself in it. Sometimes it's a flop. This time it was pretty good, I think. I'm not sure about the dress. Like I said, I have to see it again when I watch, but my mom really liked it. So there's that. So the price of the entire box was $3.97. If I kept everything, I would get the 20% discount, which would be $79.40 bringing the order total down to $317.60. We minus out the styling fee, but add back in the taxes. That's kind of a wash. So it keeps it at around that $317 price point, actually $316.50. Now, if I only kept five, I would get 20% off of the total of that five. So you do get 20% off if you keep five or more. If I kept everything, it just tells me what that discount would be. I don't know, some great items in here, some great mix and match. I will have to kind of look back and see what I like. I do like the pants quite a bit. I can definitely see these getting a lot of wear, that's for certain. So those are definitely on the list of what I'm going to keep, as well as these earrings. You know, I'm sure I could probably find something similar at TJ Maxx Home Goods, but I just don't have time for that. So it's that or it's in the back. I don't know. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts. What did you like? What were your favorite items? And what do you think I should have kept? Again, as I edit, you will be seeing, you will have seen at least what I kept and what I sent back. Because by that time this gets out, so I post these on Wednesday for my Wantable Wednesday series. Maybe need to slow down on that because I'm gonna be broke very soon. It's like I've discontinued subscription boxes but now I'm just like inundated with clothes. So I have to make some tough decisions, but I did like everything in here. I mean, if price weren't an object, I would definitely keep all seven. So Jordan did a fantastic job. All right, well, thank you so much. If you like this kind of content or unboxings or get ready with me's or collaborations or giveaways, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you soon.